Well, I don't have the bike done yet. I'm still looking for the battery charger, the battery tender thing. Uh, so I can charge the battery, change the oil, and get the luggage rack and sissy bar thing done on the back and a couple other little things that need tightening up. And this is the sort of thing we'll, we'll do, my wife and I will be doing on the bike when I get to that point, which should be sometime this summer. Otherwise, we'll be using the car and just going out together looking for different places to maybe get some lunch or have a beer or two or do something cool or a museum or whatever. But we'll generally be doing that on the bike in the first video you're going to like. Some of the real panoramic shots and stuff. But this time it's the classic Dog and Suds drive-in over on Detroit, 2050 I think they call it Ridge Road at that point. We call it Detroit, so I don't know. Every section's got a different name. But, here we go. Okay, here we are opening day at Dog and Suds. Me and Sharon. And there's a few people here, but it was, it's been raining every day, like mostly at night and into the morning a little bit. But, it's refinished on the outside from what I remember. Looked a little different outside when when Sharon was working here back when we were teenagers. That's been, been ages ago. We since put away the dinosaurs, flint knives, and bear skins. <laughs> Used to see all kind of muscle cars and hot rods and stuff sitting around here on weekends. They still have car shows and whatnot here once in a while. Still doing their thing the way they always did. Hold up the menu. And here's a printout of the menu. Eileen's Dog and Sons here on State Route 254, right over there, which is also. Uh, Ridge Road, Detroit Road, etc., depending on what section you're on. Even looks like you got the original picnic tables here. As I said from when Sharon worked here when we were teenagers. Yeah, late 60s, early 70s. That's how long this place been. Yeah, I think the tables are just as old. Uniforms are a little different. Not wearing short shorts and boots anymore. <laughs> But hey, yeah, this is this is kind of cool. There used to be another place around here, uh, Dinner Bell, over by one of the highway overpasses. Uh, I think it's like like over that way from here. I don't think the Dinner Bell one's there anymore. It was for years on the same street as Midway. Oh boy! All right, yeah. I don't see any hot rods yet, but hey. Here we are, mushrooms and sandwiches and stuff, a couple of, they got diet uh, root beer too, the frosted mud, that's pretty cool. That's chicken tenders, mushrooms, and hot banana pepper rings, fried. Munching on a chicken tender here. 
tender is basically the part below the breast that's like a separate muscle. Mushrooms are always good. Texas burger is basically a Big Mac. Okay. That's what you're, what you're looking at there. But these chicken tenders are good. There's like five of them in a batch. And you order your sides, whatever you want. To, but the look at the mushrooms. The mushrooms are beautiful. They're just about the size of the ones you get in the, 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 the box thing in the store. Oh yeah. And they even got ice in the root beer, in the frosted mugs, and this is diet. You got regular and diet, but you don't have the printed mugs anymore, don't you? <laughs> kind of miss that. <laughs>